Hello you guys, it's Eden. Welcome back to another YouTube video. Today, I am going to be going over my lure arsenal. I already went over my rod and reel arsenal, but today I'm going to be going through my lures. Now, I wouldn't say I have like a lot of lures, but I have a pretty decent amount of lures. This is the majority of them in all these boxes. And when it comes to fishing, I'm in, uh, I'm big on, on organization. So, I'm going to be going over, I'm going to be showing you guys what I have in all these boxes, and I'm going to be going over my top five favorite types of lures, and uh, my favorite ones in that category. So, first, first box. First of all, let's just take a look at this box. I love this box so much. It is made by the company Busby. They make awesome stuff. So basically, what this box is, it's watertight. And when you open this box up, you can kind of hear the suction come off. And it's really water, it's watertight, so you can't, uh, so water doesn't get in there. And watch this, so. And when you close it up and shake it around, none of the hooks get caught in the other containers and stuff. And they all stay in their respected containers. As you can see here, they all stayed in. And, uh, but yeah, so basically what's cool about this is there's a grid pattern on the bottom. And see, look, you can, like, pull out these little containers and, like, put in, like, other ones. Say you wanted, like, this one there. Say, see, you wanted that one there. And I wanted these two up there. You can do that. But basically, and you can buy other, like, you can buy sets of, like, maybe, like, you want four of these, four of these types, these long ones, or, like, two of these, these big ones, and you can just put them in there and you can basically customize your box and it's really high quality and nice, but basically in here I have the majority of my hard baits which inc includes uh, some jointed crankbaits crankbait, crankbait, whopper plopper, jerkbait, big crankbait, rattle traps, and poppers yep so I'm not I'm not, I'm not a huge fan of these baits. Obviously I throw them sometimes and they work, but I have some other favorites. So that's that first box. Next box, my favorite box, is my swim bait box with the Shimano sticker on it. So this container is actually pretty cheap, but it's it's well made, you know. It's nice hard plastic. Made by Bass Pro Shops, I think it was five ninety nine or six ninety nine, one of those two. And same with this, they don't really like go anywhere. The baits, and it also has this uh, one foot long scale, which isn't really that useful if you're catching like bass or catfish or something larger. But um, but yeah. So this is my swim bait box. Got a vast majority of swim baits in here. I have everything that ranges from larger swim baits like this one. And this one, larger swim baits, to things like Mike Buka's baby bull shed, or this small sunfish or bluegill. See, I have some paddle tails in here, a perch swim bait, a bluegill, big shad, shad, bluegill, sunfish, perch, and just some shad swim baits. A lot of shad swim baits. That's what's around here where I live, and I love, I love shad swim baits. Shad colors seem to work very well for me. Now this next box, I have this. This is not made by Busby. This box, uh, I bought this. I this is a yeah, this is a Plano box. But yeah, I just have the Busby sticker on there. And this box is, for the most part, it's made for my buzz baits, my spoons. My spinner baits and my uh and what else? Uh I don't have any in here, that's why I can't think. Oh yeah, my chatter baits. So basically yeah, spinner baits, spoons, chatter baits, buzz baits. Uh I have a for some reason I have a crank bait. I have two crank baits, some paddle tails in here, three crank baits, four crank baits in here. I don't know. I just I just usually this is the box I bring because I really like using spinner baits, but and I just like usually just throw stuff in here. I need to organize these, but here's some buzz baits. I usually only use two colors of buzz baits, white and black. 
I use black for late at night and white for early morning usually. White with a that one has a trailer on it. This is just an old buzz bait. Yeah, and then my black buzz bait's pretty big, especially with this big trailer on it. Pretty big buzz bait, but I've never really thrown buzz baits, you know. I'm gonna start using them a lot more this summer, late at night at my friend's lake house, but that's really it. I don't this box is good when it has spinner baits in it, but I keep losing my spinner baits, I keep getting snagged. I just have one on, which I actually caught my new PB today, but I didn't have my scale on me, which really sucks. I caught this huge bass. I don't really know. I think it looked like about five pounds. It's probably in the four and a half to five and a half pound range, something around there. I don't really know. Some people were saying it looks six pounds plus. Some people were saying it's in the fours. Some people were saying it's five plus. I don't really know, but I don't use this box all too much, but... Again, by Plano. This is a nice box. I got this from Dick Sporting Goods for about $20, I think. It comes, I think these are yum. Yeah, it comes with some yum. 5 inch, 4 inch, and some crawfish. Some Senkos. Variety of colors. I don't use Senkos too much. I never wacky rig, though, whenever I use Senkos. It's Texas rig. I just don't like wacky rig. And whenever I rig crawfish, it's always Texas rig. I've never, yeah, it's, well, that's all you do. Yeah, I always Texas rig them. Uh, here's some terminal tackle. This is my catfish box. Just a tiny little catfish box. I have some, I think there's, might be five eighths ounce. I don't really know. These are just some little, little tiny weights with some big, I think these are team catfish circle hooks. These are pretty big size. Really sharp. And I think these are gamagatsu. These are my littler catfish hooks. Maybe something I'd use for bullhead, but I like Team Catfish. They make good stuff. Gamagatsu is obviously better, but... Here we go. Next, I have my Jig Box. Hooked and Tag. That's a really good brand. I have a hat and a... Um... And a coat by them. A, uh... Yeah, a camouflage coat. But... Yeah, these are my jigs. Football and swim jigs. I have one, two, three, three football jigs and three swim jigs, yep. Kind of a wide range of colors, not really though. Black and blues are my favorites. And I also throw some green pumpkins in. I don't know what color that is. I don't know, but there's a bluegill pattern. Um, swim, swim jig, yep. My jig, all right, let's see what else. More thermal tackle. I've never heard of this brand. I don't know. I just got these for Christmas. I guess my mom just got them for me just because she saw. These are just Texas rigging hooks. You use these to like put paddle tails on or or Senkos on. Like if you want to Texas rig a Senko or you put craws on these, see? Yep. It comes in all different sizes. It comes in size 2, size 1s, 1 aughts, 2 aughts, and 3 aughts. So, yep. Here's those. All right. These are just these are just a bunch of grubs. I have some curly tails in here. I have some little tadpole things. I have yeah, I just have a bunch of like random random stuff in there. These are just little crappie things I put on like a really small hook and I just jig for crappie. Either if I ever if I ever went ice fishing I'd probably use some of this stuff. Or I never really use these for bass. But, or if I went walleye fishing or anything like that, I'd use those. I never really use those, though. I don't know where I got those, but... Here are my soft plastics. These are all my crawfish, all my trailers and all that. I'm not going to go through it all. I'm just going to show you guys some of my favorites. Just a bunch of more soft plastics in there. Oh, let's see. Obviously, I'm a big fan of Guggen Baits. Boom Bait's my favorite right here. These are the Bandito Bugs. What color are these? Green Pumpkin Bandito Bugs. Yeah, these are really high quality. They're pretty expensive for a uh, pack of craws, but, you know, they work. You know, they're good. I love using them as trailers. I never really Texas rig them normally, but, yeah, they're just great trailers for jigs. Green Pumpkin Jigs. What else? Oh, I'm a big fan of Rage Tails. I like their, uh, I like their white. I like their white baits. Let's see. I like throwing white baits a lot. White is my favorite color for any type of bait. Like, 
I like white swim baits, white crawfish. I like a lot of white colors. Here, well, let me try to find a good one of my white baits. These are pretty cool. These are just some frogs that you take a string. Ribbons. Some big Mr. Twister. Curly tails. They must not be in here. They must be in this one. Huh. Here they are. Striking Rage Tails, white color. Rage Crawls. These are my favorites. Those are just great. If I were to Texas rig anything, it'd probably be some of those. Those are just nice. They're good to throw on beds when the bats are spawning. Gets their attention. And it's good. White, white color is good because you can see them underwater. Uh, especially if it's like clear water or you can see through murky water. It's just like easier to see and when you throw it on beds and you can get that, you can see that strike happen. Some Gary Yamamoto's, White Senkos. Yeah. I don't know. I just, I don't use soft plastics that much, but when I do, I like to use white. And here, pack of some paddle tails, five inch paddle tails. Havoc. Alright, now, I think that's all my baits. Let me explain what I usually carry them in. So usually, I carry my baits in this. I think it's called the Bass Pro Shops 360 backpack, fishing backpack. Like, I love this thing. It has like a compartment up here for everything. Oh, here we go. We have some bobbers and hooks, catfish hooks in there. But, yeah, a co nice compartment up there. It has some room for some boxes down there that I usually put. Some... And it has a lot of storage up there for either some bigger boxes. And then it has stuff on the sides. I have some line in there. But yeah, it just has a lot of storage. It's pretty nice. I cannot fit my Busby uh, hard bait box or my swim bait box in this top container. So usually like part of it's sticking out and like the zipper goes as far as it can. Or usually I just carry them in like in like a drawstring bag, a big drawstring bag. Oh yeah, I I just usually if I'm if I'm like going on a big fishing trip, I usually take all my lures in that box, or if it's like summer. But if I, if I'm just like if I'm just going fishing for a little bit, you know, just like I might bring one or two of these boxes, throw them in a drawstring bag, and just head out to the pond because I don't want to carry a lot of stuff. But yeah, I'm more of a pond hopper fisherman. I don't really go out to big lakes a lot. I go out sometimes during the summer, but I usually just stick to pond hop and walking around. So I don't want to lug around lug around the big box. Alright guys, sorry, I forgot three boxes. I was wondering where the rest of my boxes went. In here, I have some tiny swim baits. Like, look at this. This is something usually for crappie. Sometimes I go for some little dink bass in here. If I know a pond does not have a lot of big bass and they can't eat big lures, use this little guy. Another small little swim bait. These things are great for catching bass. I love these. They're not very big, but they... I, my friends caught like a four and a half pounder on one of these. Four and a quarter pounder, actually. These things are pretty cool. These little like spinners with like flukes on them. All right, that's just a little little box. Some more terminal tackle in here. See, I have some hooks in here. Hooks, bullet weights, Texas rig hooks, jig heads, some little crappie crappie lures, and yeah, and now. The last box that actually is very important to me, my frog box. So, I have a lot of frogs. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 frogs in here, plus I have one tied on on my Black Max, so it's 13 frogs. That's a lot, you know? I have a big selection of frogs that range from something that looks like this, with like no legs, but like a little tail popping out. To something like this with two legs to what's another one to this little tiny one little frog to some what's a, another weird one something like this this one doesn't even look like a frog it's just like a like a popper almost like a hollow popper I don't know but yeah I love my frogs so starting off my top five baits Number five would have to be frogs. I love using frogs. Uh, I don't get bit on them a lot because I don't really use them a lot, but 
I use them a decent amount. But frog, any kind of topwater bite is just amazing. If you guys haven't topwater fish, you need to. Topwater fishing is just, it's awesome. It's a whole different thing than reeling in, say, a spinnerbait, you know? Number five, frogs. And my favorite frog is actually on my Black Max, which is downstairs, which, wait. No, it's right here. Never mind. It's right here. Hold on. This is my favorite frog. This is a big one. It's a bigger frog. This is, uh, this is by Lunker Hunt, I believe. Yeah, Lunker Hunt frog. Yep. I like throwing frogs on braid. Anything top water should usually be thrown on braid. Alright, my fourth favorite bait would definitely have to be... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? A jig. So... I never really use swim jigs. I mean, I use them sometimes. I haven't... I just started using swim jigs this season. Haven't gotten a bite on it yet. To throw in cover, you know? I like the weedless aspect. I like how you can throw them almost anywhere. And they work. That's all I'm going to say. You can use them pretty much year-round. Uh, I like black and blues. Let's see, do I have a black and blue in here? Here's a black and blue swim jig. Yeah, I just have black and blue swim jigs, but... Here's a black and blue. This one's really big. Uh, another jig I like, if I had to choose one of my jigs to throw, would it be this Six Sense Swim Jig. Or this Bluegill Pattern. This Bluegill Pattern Swim Jig. So, but yeah, I like football jigs. It's my number four bait. Number three would be Chatterbait. Now, I looked in my box earlier. I did not have Chatterbait on. Well, I don't know where my Chatterbait is. I just ordered two more yet. I ordered two yesterday, so they should be coming in tomorrow. I ordered a white chatterbait and I ordered a green pumpkin chatterbait. My black and blue chatterbait should be somewhere, but I need to find that. But chatterbait's my third best. I just think they work. You know, they're a newer lure. They haven't always been around. They're they're not really old. I just think they work. You know, you can use bigger chatterbaits for pike, even musky. You know, but I just like them for bass. You know. Three eighths or one one half ounce. I like throwing a half ounce just to get those bigger bites. But yeah, I just I just love chatter baits. They're a good bait. My second favorite bait of all time would definitely be spinner baits. Again, I do not have any spinner baits in my box. I got them all snagged or broke off. I do have a spinner bait on my SLX DC right now that I just caught my new PB bass on. Uh, here's a picture of that right now. Uh, like I said, didn't weigh it, didn't have a scale, but I'm going to assume it's probably around 5 to 5.5 five pound range. I'm just calling it 5.5. A, a lot of my friends said 6 plus. Someone said in the 4 pound range. I'm just going to say 5.5. Leave it at that. Yeah, we'll see. I'll catch another one in the future with my scale. We'll get that sucker. But spinnerbait's great when it's sunny out. The blades spin. Just a great bait. The blades spin around, reflects off the sun. Doesn't really make noise, but yeah, it's something to get the fish's attention. I've gotten so many bait counts, uh, bites on spinner baits. I think all of my fish this, yeah, actually all my fish this year, except for two fish, which were on a white chatter bait, have been on spinner baits. So, how many fish is that? So, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. That's 20 fish in 2020 on a spinnerbait. And that was all done on two different spinnerbaits. My spinnerbait that I caught 18 fish on unfortunately got snagged yesterday. Yep. Today I was using a new bigger spinnerbait called my PB Bass. Yep, you saw the picture, but my number one favorite lure, I'm sure you guys have guessed it already. Swim baits. I love swim baits. I love how different they are. I love how not different, but like I love the variety. Like, a chatterbait's a chatterbait. You know, you, you get them in three-eighths or one-half ounce. You know, there's not that big of a variety. You get them in different colors, you know? Um, what's another option? Crankbaits. You get them in all shapes and sizes, all different kinds of colors. But there's, like, different types of spinnerbaits, you know? I mean, uh, swimbaits. See? You can put a paddle tail like this on a... 
on a head. These are my 360 little rattle. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but, but yeah, you can. They range from like paddle tails to like to like divers, like with a lip on them, like slow sinkers. You know, like they can be like soft. They can be hard. You know. Just there's such endless possibilities between the swim baits, like, like something that ranges from this to this. You know, it's just like crazy. And I just ordered a six and a quarter inch swim bait, or no, six and a half inch, one and three quarter ounces swim bait. It's a glide bait. Yeah, I can't wait to throw that thing on my new rod I ordered. I ordered a uh, Bass Pro Shops Graphite Series Musky rod because I, I wanted like a cheaper rod because I didn't want to like. Because I don't always throw huge swim baits, but I want to get into it more. Uh, I just wanted something cheaper that I can throw my larger swim baits on without breaking my rod. Because Actually, I didn't show you guys this yet. My favorite swim bait that I cannot wait to throw is this swim bait. This thing is absolutely massive. Now, you guys are probably wondering, where the heck did he get such a great lure like this? Well, actually, this lure was handmade by my cousin. He lives in Texas. I'm going out on a fishing trip with him late May if all goes well with the COVID-19 concerns at the moment. Yeah, he made this. This is the first one he ever made. He was so kind to give it to me and gift it to me. Yeah, I have a little, uh, he gave me a little, oh, that one does not have one on it. There's a little, uh, soft plastics on the ends because this is very sharp hook, very sharp hooks. Yeah, but this is just a great bait he made. He's got, here's a picture on the screen right now. Of a 5.7 pounder he just caught on this. Him and his buddy doubled up. On fish. This is just, this is a big bass catching machine. You know, this thing, I cannot wait to throw this at my aunt's pound where I just caught that PV bass. Oh, I can't wait for this thing to get hammered. This thing, I do not know how many ounces this is. I'll have to ask my cousin, but I can't wait to throw this. My musky rod I ordered throws 2 to 10 ounce bait, so this is definitely under 10 ounces. But, I mean, I just cannot wait. This is just insane. Best lure. There will there, be a link to uh, Hill... It's called Hill Country Swim Bait, so it will be linked to his, uh, his Instagram in the description. But, yeah, can't wait to throw this bait. Those are my lures, my lure arsenal. You guys have seen it. I, uh, I have a decent bit of them, but, I mean, I use almost all of them, so it's not going wasted here, but hope you guys have a great day. Peace.